right, guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for joining us. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What my up? boy Khan's over here. Hi. <laughs> so, being that we're nerds, we just came back from seeing Fantastic Beasts and where you can find them. But Fantastic Beasts, everyone. Turn on. on. This is, is Don Don. Doesn't get turned off. Ladies, look at this physique. <laughs> so. Let's just get right into it. Yeah. Did you guys like it? Did you appreciate it? Was it your thing? Because it's a Harry Potter theme going on. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of in that world. It is in that world. What are you guys thinking? Well, I think for me at least, you know, I, 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 I never read the Harry Potter books, first of all. Uh, I, I was never really into Harry Potter. But when the movies came out, I was more interested in those, you know. So, um... And even then, it was just kind of like you know, they were they were good. Like towards like the last maybe, maybe three movies I really enjoyed. Um, but uh, Fantastic Beasts was like nowhere close. Like I don't know, it was like its really own different realm. And I I just felt like the story was not all there. The emotion and character development was not all there for me. I was really looking forward to seeing like I think we talked about like uh, maybe like a Jumanji comparison. Or like yeah. uh, that Goosebumps movie that came uh, out like earlier this year with uh, uh, Jack Black. I, I was more expecting to see something like that, like given the trailer that is, you know. Right. So I mean, when when I had to look down at my phone to see like how long this movie is going on for, it was like an hour into the movie, and they barely like established a villain. And then an hour later, towards the end of the movie, is when they actually go up against the villain. And so I was just like, wow, that was a long drawn out movie and it was frustrating i don't know i what didn't you, really enjoy did you it. appreciate it no. movie of the year oh my god i'm kidding he's a liar by the way <laughs> <He's a liar. laughs> um i i did enjoy the movie to an extent i think i fell more in love with the characters than i did um the story was decent it wasn't amazing um but uh, i i did enjoy the movie i found reasons to enjoy the movie there were little things that i connected with enough to make me interested in it as i was going so I actually, and the thing too, this is one thing that I don't think people do realize, it is part of the Harry Potter world, but think of it this way, you have Harry Potter, which, you know, they even gesture to it in the movie often enough, where the, there's a difference between the American wizards and the, you know, I guess the British wizards, huge difference, because even when they get here, you know, uh, Newt is like, he's all, well, where I come from, we call those muggles, and, and they're like, no, we call them no matches here, and it's like America, it's almost like a parallel to me, because I'm thinking like, it's almost a sting in the face to us because it's saying where, you know, British are just more laid back and chill like Newt is and Americans are so fucking uptight. Like, it's kind of, I saw a parallel with that and I was just like, oh, wow, that's kind of funny. They're kind of making fun of us. It's hilarious. But I, I, I really liked Newt in this world because he was new to us in the Americas, which is what made him a good uh, driving character. So I'm just going to admit this on camera. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Oh my god, I'm out of I here. like the realm of fantasy. I was more of a Lord of the Rings guy. Look true. Um, I watched three and a three of Harry Potter, one, two, and three, but I just it didn't it didn't work for me. Um, so I was kind of excited about this one because it has some uh, actors that I knew, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, maybe a bigger budget. They're gonna do a little more, I guess, have more impactful things. I just wasn't feeling it though. I, I kind of felt like you it was kind of like long and drawn out. Um, I would have liked a better hero to villain complex. They were multiple villains, yeah. I guess four. you want to say that like four. Um, but really, most of them didn't have any real significance. Um, so I'm just watching it, and I would have wanted to like learn more about these beasts and the world right. they come from. Yes. Um, I would have wanted to have known, like, I wanted to have seen, like, the animals escape and terrorize, and they had to try to get them back. Kind of a Jumanji type right. of, or a mm -hmm. uh, Goosebumps theme. Yeah. Because um, then you get to learn a little bit more about that world, you know, and I didn't get that. So, me personally, I wasn't feeling it, but I know you guys are Harry Potter fans. So I was like, well, maybe it works for them. Because mm -hmm. I didn't, to me, they weren't Fantastic Beasts. There was only maybe like two Fantastic Beasts. The Beasts were pretty fantastic, but they didn't give us... The movie labeled Fantastic Beasts, and I mean, they, they were fantastic, but they didn't show us. They didn't show us those beasts enough 
to showcase how fantastic they were. It was about like chasing them, and then it really just followed the character of Newt, you know, uh, played by Eddie Redmayne, you know. I mean, it really just followed him, and then him meeting all these other characters throughout the movie. Um, and I didn't yeah. connect with him. I didn't con- connect. I didn't with him connect. At all. With, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I no time. I, I, I mean. I didn't feel like emotionally attached, you know, like he is supposed to be this lover of these beasts and these very like knowledgeable about like all these beasts and how to control them or, you know, communicate with them, you know, and, you know, I didn't feel like any attachment to any of them. Like he, there was like almost no sense of urgency to get any of them back either, you know? And yeah. Like when they escaped, they're like, oh, I'll go get them. Yeah. I'm like. But if someone sees them, they're going to possibly confiscate or maybe get hurt or hurt them. Right. You should be a little more um, concerned. Mm-hmm. But did you connect with him? I did. I, I enjoyed his character because of the, his simplicity. Um, I didn't see him as like a reflection of me. Like I was sitting there being like, oh, I feel this character. I feel everything he's feeling. Um, I enjoyed the interaction that he did have with his beasts. I enjoyed the world he created for his beasts. It's almost like he had a zoo in his suitcase. It was pretty, it was awesome, you know? You can tell his consideration, the one that was attached to him, you know, and the conversation they had afterwards when he was like, gonna give him up. And he was like, right. things like, are you gonna give me up, sucker? I knew you would like that part. Yeah, yeah, it's just little little quirks like that. I mean, like, I have, I have a, um, a chameleon, and when he's feisty, he does the same stuff to me. So I'm just, it's kind of funny, you know, just the parallels. Um, and then just little small things the characters did. I think, honestly, what made this movie were those small gestures, the subtle things. It wasn't the bigger things they're doing. The reason why I figured he wasn't panicking is it was the parallel to me again. It was how, like, he's all, oh, they're, they're around. We'll get them. I'll get them. Whereas to the American civilization was all like, oh, my God, you have to get them. They're killing people. And I was just like, oh, my God, calm down. He's going to find them. You have one to fix everything. Get over it. So yeah. I just, it didn't really, and, but the urgency, I get what you're saying with that. I completely understand. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, just to go back, like, I, 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 I did, anytime they, the first time that they actually went into the suitcase and they showed us all those bees was awesome, but we didn't get that until like 40 minutes into the yeah. movie, yeah, and then it only lasted like, you know, maybe 15 minutes tops, and they were out of the suitcase, and so we didn't even get to see all the bees and like what what they're all about, you know, and so it's yeah. just like, I don't know, you guys I don't, got like I a the, teaser of it. It, it was a teaser, and, and, and actually, out of seeing all the bees, I'm like, I thought to myself, dude, they could totally make a... Uh, like a real live Pokemon movie. All oh, right. I was like, this is gonna catch them all. This can happen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they were fantastic movies. Maybe some of the reasons why I haven't liked some of these movies is that the titles are very deceitful. Yeah. You know, when you say fantastic beasts, I'm thinking like they're all gonna just be awesome. Mm-hmm. And really, we had like this, um, I guess, eagle slash peacock beast like that was pretty awesome. Some say a griffin. Um. We had the snake that turned into like the snake bird or whatever. Oh, I really like that platypus one that was still in all the gems and everything. Yeah, right. it was funny, <laughs> but it's not fantastic. I mean, I, I don't know. I think the, the I guess maybe I'm just playing on the word too much. But right. when you say fantastic to me, I'm thinking like this is going to be just like something I've never seen before. Yeah, no, I was expecting. You know, I mean, they gave us like. A uh, couple of big beasts, you know, that big giant bird or that one big giant rhino looking thing, you know. And I only saw that one time. That was it. That's what I'm saying, you know. We didn't get much of that, you know. It, it really just followed a couple of these characters, you know. Uh, Newt going with uh, Porpertina and then running into the one muggle Jacob, you know. So, I mean, it followed those characters and, you know, there was, there was not enough, like, emotion or character behind them to like really like you know build that story and I and honestly I thought to myself I'm like what are we doing here what is this movie telling me about you know it's just like uh, I don't know I was like losing interest like it was so long drawn out and now I did like the sister of the investigator Queenie I like Queenie Queenie was fun I thought that she was um, <coughs> very traditional but still you know willing to put in work when she needed to honestly you know what I thought for her character I thought she was gonna become actually useful in finding the beast or helping them because she said that she could read minds and when we're actually get to that um, uh, the one villain character of Credence uh, Ezra Miller's character 
I thought that she was going to be the one to be able to read his mind and like, you know, translate like, you know, he's scared, you know, we need to back back off and look, I know what you're going through kind of like, you know, like a professor X, like I could read your mind kind of thing. Um, but I mean, they really they they really didn't do much with her character other than play like a love interest. I guess I have to yeah. agree. You got to have some type of love interest cuz uh the main character but I mean, like they they, they, they downplayed Mute. her character. He was very um, disconnected. I would want to say, like he was more of a um, like a, he was a, kind of autistic a little bit. He just didn't like connect with people at all. Mm -hmm. So you weren't going to get a love interest there. So I had to do it somewhere, and that's fine, you know. But I, I just feel like you know they they downplayed her character. She had like an awesome ability. Honestly, that's what I think about all of the Harry Potter characters. They're all just mediocre. Uh, even the like the in the Harry Potter series with the teachers, mm -hmm. even they're just kind of like mediocre. Like they're not like, oh my gosh. Like so, right. I, I don't know. This it didn't to me. It did exactly what I thought it was going to. The movie was exactly what I thought it was going to be. I was hoping it would be something more. Right. But it was exactly what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. um, so for me. So I'm just gonna give it a rating real quick. I'm gonna give it a six. I want to say five point five, but yeah, let's go with five point five. Actually, I'm, just, I'm never yeah. watching this again. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I, I I'm not gonna watch it again. It was really hard for me in the theater to actually stay in the theater and finish the movie. Uh, when I was checking my phone, I was ready for the movie to be over. I think it was like an hour and a half, and I really wanted to, but. I mean, I lost interest, you know, after about an hour when they showed us the villain finally. And if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it like a four, just because, you know, the the visuals were fine. You know, they were they were cool. I like the idea of the movie, but actually the follow through, it just uh, to me it failed. It was a failure of a movie. What do you think? Um, so I've been going a little back and forth on it because I did enjoy the movie and, and care, you know, but the thing is, in, in brief discussion. I definitely considered a couple of different things and different perspectives when I was looking at the movie. But as far as the movie goes, I didn't hate the movie. Um, I, when I watch it again, there might be a chance that all like if I'm chilling at home and maybe I just kind of want to maybe give it a, another shot to really get involved with it even more, I'll probably sit down and watch it. Maybe I don't know. But um, what's your rating? Please. Sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go with a, a seven. I'm gonna go give it a seven. A seven. A seven. A seven. So you might watch. A seven again. A seven again. No, I'll probably end up watching it again, to be honest with you. I mean, I still like the I still <laughs> like the ideas behind the movie. I've actually rewatched like Suicide Squad, even though I gave it a pretty low rating, and I've rewatched uh, Batman vs Superman, and that's got to be like maybe a low rating as well. But yeah, all right, okay. Uh, seven I'm movies just, are, are rewatched here. <laughs> I haven't rewatched Batman vs Superman. I stand on my uh, idea of that movie from the moment. You guys wanted to go watch it, and I knew it was going to suck, oh, and it walked out, and it was horrible. Now, when I say rewatch, so, I don't mean in the theater. I mean, like, rewatch as in at home. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I did like the magic. I liked that there wasn't this warm-up <laughs> where they didn't have to say all this, abracadabra, let it rip. They don't have to, like, <laughs> they didn't have to do that. You know, I would have loved that. <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> that would have been a total American way to do that. <laughs> it would have. Here's actually. my wand. Abracadabra. Let it rip. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome um, to America. How do they were, we don't get any funny magicians. All right. We, we need to come across a surfer dude, freaking magician, and be like, yo, Avada Kedavra. Oh, wrong smell. My bad. That's another thing that I kind of didn't like about it. It, it wasn't as diverse as I would have liked. Um, there was no pretty much black people. I guess the one lady was black, but yeah, the president. She was. I don't even know how, why she was even the president, but anyway, <clears throat> um, there was no real diversity. I would have liked to see. I know this is like a kind of a timepiece, yeah. so you know. But I would have still for if you're gonna show a timepiece that's a fantasy to people in modern in the modern world. Something wrong with showing, you know, some Latinos or some right. Asian people. I mean, if we or... have like all these different like troll-looking characters, but we don't have like ethnic, eth eth like no like, ethnicity yeah. like within these, like you know, you got like I don't know, you could maybe do like a voodoo magician, you could do like a Day of the Dead magician, some I don't know, you could get really clever. There's like yeah. magic, you know, yeah, like, different parts. Yeah, so. that would make sense because you know you America is supposed to have the biggest diversity, and they really didn't display that at all. 
No, yeah. So I, I kind of dinged them on that. I mean, they do that with everything. Even even like uh, Lord of the Rings, no diversity. I get it. Um, but as far as when you when it's that bad, I send to just nitpick at every single thing now. Like yeah. when it's really good, I'm like, oh, I gotta listen to stuff. Right. But when it's bad, I'm like, nope, that 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 too. Just ah, yeah, and it's all bad. You're right. It's all right. Bad. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Yeah, I 100 percent agree because I I feel like. Uh, like, this movie, given the time, how long this movie was, it was like a two and a half hour long movie, and I was literally dying for it to be over. Like, I was like, come on, let's wrap it up. And it actually did wrap up. Okay, so, like, getting to the end of this movie, right? Well, let's, actually, let's wrap this up. All right, guys, so that is our spoiler-free version of Fantastic Beasts, what we thought. Let us know what you think. Did you love the movie? Are we, you know, blasphemous for saying all these things about this movie? <laughs> Uh, let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, share. Uh, also, uh, we want to do a giveaway um, at the end of December. We want to do a giveaway. We're going to um, give you guys more information on how to enter, but check out our review on um, Rogue One. Yes. And <laughs> check out our review on, on uh, Rogue One. We will announce the winner. Um, so just keep in mind that we're giving away a... Um, smugglers uh, collectors item uh, so just keep in mind keep watching we want to give you guys something so for all our 50 subscribers we love you we love guys you. <laughs> we love you big love Lingardium Leviosa alright guys we're Break Room Blitz I'm DeAnthony Adan Nevada Kadava Conch and we're out peace <clears throat> peace you guys are looking at me weird